What's up guys? So we're gonna be working a little bit on the interior of the Comanche. Um, just finished up painting a bunch of stuff, so I'll kinda be throwing in some uh, video clips of when I was painting all this stuff, but. Uh... All right, so we got the, uh, this all taken apart here. Um, painted the uh, key cylinder, got that all painted black, so it just comes out. Uh, just an eight millimeter bolt here you just pull that out and then this thing slides right out which is cool um so the issue i was having is um i'll put this kind of back together here okay so the issue i was having is this guy was super loose so what i ended up doing is this bar sits in here like this and then on there and then that kind of is how tight it is well what i added a little bit of uh painter's tape this will focus here. Add a little bit of painter's tape on here because this plastic just must be worn out just from being used so much. So for now, we'll do a little bit of uh, painter's tape. I tried taking it out of that truck and it's just, it's too much of a pain. You got to take this whole thing out, undo all these wires and I don't really want to go that far. So just this will be a temporary fix. I may have to, you know, fix this uh, later on. Um, but yeah, so we'll just uh, kind of get this back together here. This guy here. Nice and, nice and tight and then now you can see here way less play so that's where all the play was so we still have play uh, just not as much it's kind of interesting how this thing works so it's not perfect I could probably do some maybe a I don't know we'll see maybe I'll add a little bit more tape to that just to make it extra last a little bit longer i don't know how long it's gonna last uh but that's just it for now i ordered a new new one of these guys um so these just actually just pop right out you just pull it out like that so pretty cool system but uh but yeah and then i'll show you guys uh painted the steering wheel black so we got that black then i also painted there's like a little trimming that goes here and then the center cap i painted black so that's pretty much it for now. All right, so I got this thing back on. This thing's got this, uh, there's a retention clip here. So it's helpful to have another person, but uh, the shaft will wanna go in. So what you wanna do is you wanna pull the shaft all the way out and then uh, get this clip started on here and then push with this and this and then uh, have someone with a screwdriver or a pick uh, push this down. Just be careful because you can stab, stab one another with it. So. Uh, but yeah, so now that we got this this guy on, now we can start uh, putting everything back together. Okay, so we painted this guy black. This is already black, but we refinished this. Painted this black. This used to be chrome. Got the horn all wired up again. Now we're just going to crank these guys down. already torqued that guy down now we just gotta pop the wheel on all right so i got the little center section all painted too that's all black i think it's gonna look really nice so now we just gotta put the wheel on i painted the inside of the steering wheel black before it was an ugly chrome i painted this little uh, trim ring around here as well as back here i repainted this guy as well as this this used to be chrome and then we'll hop in here so I also painted the let's see if you can see painted the uh, key cylinder here, painted that black, um, and uh, just did a little bit of touch up. Painted some of the screws that hold the dash in. I painted those black to kind of blend them in a little bit. And uh, yeah, so the last thing to do is obviously black out the uh, door poles, make those black, and then. Pretty much done, but I actually, I was thinking about getting a different steering wheel. I actually really like this uh, steering wheel now that it's black. Um, new turn signal stock, so we'll just pull that out, out of here, and throw the new one in. Turn it to the off position, see if it actually works in this one. Yeah, sure enough. So obviously mine doesn't have the delay option, so my numbers don't match up, but it's all right. That's off, and then this is the forward. 
spot. That looks great compared to this. This is so crappy looking. So mine only has the high, low, and then off, and then missed. This one's got the delay in it, but that's okay. Throw that garbage out of there, but yeah, that looks so much better now. So my truck was missing uh, this little cap piece here. So I added the, uh, took it from the other truck and put it on here. So now my interior looks a little bit better. Um, I still need to uh, wire the stereo system back up. I gotta get speakers for it because the ones that were in this truck were destroyed. So I'll get new speakers for it eventually and then uh, figure out how to kind of tidy this up. This piece is designed to go over the top, but as you can see, it doesn't really fit. So we'll, uh, we'll have to figure that out. But uh, other than that, this truck actually is a, is about as nice on the inside as it is outside now, so. Which is nice. So like I was saying about before, definitely gonna be bedlining the rear bumper, probably this guy here, and then uh, kind of refinishing up the front. The front's a little faded looking, so I'll probably repaint that and uh yeah get rid of this I'll, i don't know if i'll bedline this bumper uh but they, like i said they painted this gloss which i don't think looks very great uh gloss i'll paint it like a matte either a matte black or a bedline we'll we'll see how that looks but uh but yeah and then obviously this got blacked out which is nice and then uh this trim around there and then pretty much done so anyway guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did definitely give the video a thumbs up that helps me out a bunch, guys, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video.